Each summer, the sandy beaches under the walls of the Peter and Paul Fortress in the heart of St. Petersburg attract hundreds of sun worshippers. And it has been like that for years. And it has always been assumed and taken for granted that the fast-flowing Never River would carry all the detritus and sewage water into the sea, literally out of sight and out of mind. Indeed, even by the 1960s, most of St. Petersburg's waste water was still being discharged into the Gulf of Finland untreated. The result was eutrophication, blossoming of algae blooms, and deprivation of oxygen in the lower layers of the marine ecosystem. It was for this reason that St. Petersburg was classified as an environmental hotspot by the Baltic Marine Environmental Protection Commission, Helcom. But a lot has happened since the 60s and things have changed for the better. What we see in the future? Yes, in 2014, we will get rid of the waste water до 98%. В будущем, вне всякого сомнения, мы доведем эту очистку до 100%. For the past two decades, the Nordic Environment Finance Corporation, NEFCO, has been involved in financing a wide range of wastewater treatment projects in Eastern Europe. In 2009, environmental projects funded by the corporation reduced discharges of phosphorus into the Baltic Sea by over 1,200 tons. The local waterworks, Vodokanal in St. Petersburg, is one of NEFCO's business partners. А вот если бы не было NEFCO, если бы не было, допустим, кредитов, бы NEFCO грантов, которые получает Водоканал, а как бы тогда развивалась бы ситуация? Я вам могу сказать, ну, наверное, мы бы решили эти вопросы. Другое дело, в какой срок. И сейчас, когда действительно дорог каждый день, наверное, каждый год для улучшения экологической обстановки, временной фактор нельзя сбрасывать со счетов. At present, NEFCO is financing the modernization of 10 small wastewater treatment plants in St. Petersburg. And this is expected to reduce the discharges of phosphorus into the Baltic Sea by some 40 tons per year. Well, I think that we can bring the, the economic focus on, on the discussions and on, on the activities. And what we can do is, is tell about bankable projects, which me, and, and do, do this further, so to say, to bring new investments again. The ecological sins from the past, however, continue to haunt people living on the shores of the Baltic Sea. Huge amounts of nutrients from the past are still embedded in the lower layers of the Baltic Sea, a major cause for the so-called internal load-feeding hypoxia and the proliferation of toxic algae blooms. Well, uh, we have about 350,000 tonnes of phosphorus in the bottom layers. And when this uh, bottom layer is anoxic, we, we have uh, phosphorus welling up, at least here in, in, in this part of, of the Gulf of Finland. And, and I think that 350,000 tons of phosphorus in the wrong place would need to be uh, di directed to, to regain that phosphorus some way or the other. As a small international financial institution, NEFCO is always exploring cost-efficient ways to reduce environmentally harmful discharges into the Baltic Sea. If you look historically, uh, the big investments have been done already in, in the Nordic countries, those who, where you gained lots of results with, with the low-cost efforts. Uh, this is the case already now, also now in the developing economies in the former East Bloc states. And that means that by the same amount of money we can get lots more uh, pollution reduction, nutrient reduction, than if we would do this in a Nordic country. During the last decade, largely as a result of political coordination, lobbying and environmental projects managed by international financial institutions, discharges of nutrients into the Baltic Sea have decreased considerably. Yet a lot remains to be done in order to save this particularly vulnerable sea for future generations. We will have a new ghost coming up soon because uh, 
the society is continuously developing and that means also new uh, leakages of, of nutrients where they haven't been leaking before. So I think that we shouldn't lean back and say well, job well done.